Welcome to our tutorial series on how to use MailChimp. This first video is going to show you how to create a list, import contacts, and then manage the contacts from your new list. So I've already created a sample CSV file, which by the way, I purposely added a duplicate in here to see how MailChimp would handle it. So to start, we'll click on list to create a list. And we will give our list a descriptive name. This is a name your subscribers will see, so make sure that it's something you want them to see. This is your from email address, the one that shows it's being sent from and the from name. This is something your subscribers will see as well, so make sure you write it as such. And this part is required. It's a reminder of how they signed up for your list. So the examples are you receiving this email because you opted in at our website or anything like that. These notifications will go over in future videos when I talk about reports. For now, we'll just click save. And now we need to add our subscribers. We'll import from CSV file. Next. Here we'll upload the file. And click next. And here we need to match up our columns. So it recognizes first name. So we say save. And same with last name. Email address. It doesn't recognize description. It's not sure exactly what it is, so we need to tell it. So we create a new column name. And we'll just leave it named description. And it's a text field type. And click save. And next. And now we're going to make sure these contacts are subscribed. And we'll import and see how it handles the duplicate. So good. So we had four in the file. And it imported only three of them. One email was already in your list. So that's good. Now, if we want to figure out how to manage our contacts, go back to lists, and we get the list that we want to manage, and go to manage subscribers. And here we can do different things. Um, the most useful thing is we can create groups and segments. And the groups are for if you want to send different newsletters or different email blasts to different groups from within your one list. And segments, you can do a similar thing. You can target specific subscribers in your list. So in our case, we'll look at segments. And then we would perhaps want to create a segment where we're only sending it to the doctors. So if the description is doctor, and it shows that it filtered out the attorney one. So, that's it for this tutorial, but stay tuned for the next one where we will be creating a campaign using this list that we just created, the sample customer newsletter list.